Welcome again to another episode of Chromatography Experts, the podcast in which we discuss all things separation science. I am your host, Anson Lewis, Global Sales Manager here at Toso Bioscience, and with me is my esteemed guest, Fu Duang. And Fu Duang, Senior Manager, Global Commercial Strategy. Welcome to Toso Bioscience Podcast. So today we're going to be discussing resin applications and resin selection criteria in real-world applications. So to get started, Fu, um, the basic question I want to discuss, since we've discussed in previous episodes, you know, what chromatography resin is and, and kind of where Toso's part in it, what are the key criteria that customers use when selecting chromatography resin? Yes. Um, when select the right resin, there's a few questions that people, you know, ask. Okay. The number one, uh, will the resin have the ability to increase the product quality? Okay, in terms of purity, because the number one thing that you know you want to make sure that the efficacy of the drug is there. So you don't want a lot of impurity in the drug, particularly biological drug like antibody drugs and things like that. Right. The number two to me is, of course, you know, to reduce the cost and things like that. You want to make sure that the resin have many cycles. Okay. If you have just one or two cycles, it means like it's going to be very, very costly. Okay. And more importantly, that compliance, you want to make sure that the product that you introduce in your process, particularly for the purification, make sure that these are compliance with, uh, regulatory, you know, like out there. If not, they cannot use it. Mm. Yeah. It's very interesting. And obviously we don't want to impart any extra costs on our customers. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Uh, so, all right. So now that, once the customers have kind of, def, you know, define their criteria and kind of know what you want, how do we go about guiding our customers towards the kind of format of resin? Because I know as at Toso, we offer different um, sizes and different platforms of format, whether it's pre-packed or bulk. So how do we go about helping our customers, you know, guide them towards this proper format? Um, I think that from the scientific point of view, um, when we, 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 when we talk about the resin selection and and to speed up the process and things like that we need to ask the right questions the number one thing that what do we understand about the molecule structural right um for example how big is the molecule which is the size what sort of uh, uh what, what what charge does the molecule you know process uh whether it's hydrophobic or hydrophilic yeah. uh whether you know it have like specific ligand or amino acids and things like that because by doing it we can quickly identify the right media uh process media for example like uh hydrophobic interaction resins, uh, and ion exchange, you know, like resins or cat ion exchange resin or even like affinity resin. We want to make sure that understand the molecules first, then we can guide, you know, like resin selection. Okay. All right. that, that's very good. So while we offer, I know a wealth of technical support in that process, uh, a concern I can imagine our customers would have, you know, after we, you know, give them that resident and they purchase it is what kind of support can they expect from us after the fact, you know, post sale? Like what, what kind of structure do we have in place for that? Yes. So the thing that, of course, at Tosa Bioscience, particularly when customers select, uh, whether the Toya Pur or the TSK gel or both. Okay. We have so many different ways to support our customer. The number one thing that contact account managers for the region that you know the customer belongs to okay because that way account managers can quickly establish you know the needs then you know like it can call back home and then we can you know like go on out there and support the customers uh whether virtually or in person or you can contact you know the technical support line that tosa have um uh, provide, I'm sorry. And then, you know, 
or the customers can even reach out to customer service. Okay. So all of that that available in our website or in, in person, like account managers, right? Um, because as you know, virtually or in person, we can do, uh, for example, we can talk about resident selection. Uh, we can, you know, help column packing. Uh, we can help, you know, method development and everything like that. Yeah. And I know we definitely have a world class customer experience team. Um, that kind of, you know, ties together everything as Fu just said. So like, like you said, we have a, do have a really good support structure. I'm very glad yeah. for that internally here in case. So, um, you know, once our customers are, they're satisfied with our technical support, they've platformed our resin, now they're using it at scale. How do we ensure performance over time and make sure that that process maintains optimization and that there's no hiccups there? And, or if they want to, you know, potentially uh, make any changes to other resins we have internally, that that goes smoothly. Yeah. So Anson, the thing that uh, a toast about science, all resins, whether Toyo Per mm -hmm. or TSK gel, or even coming down to our P pack columns, for example, skill pack. Okay. We produce these resins or these materials and based on the specific, uh, specifications that we have. Okay. Or some number called CFA. And in these, we want to make sure that we think that specs, we, need to make sure that the resin, you know, put this within the specs so we can pass it and then we can, you know, let me make sure we send it out. And if any resin that not produced within the spec, we cannot send it out to customers. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's number one. And the other, the, the other thing that we do have our ISO, uh, protocol that we need to follow. So it's mean that the, the product have to make sure that produce within the guidance or the guideline that we allow to do. Okay. And of course, you know, like we have the technical support lines that you can ask for technical support, like method development, column packing guidelines. Okay. Or if you have any questions about logistics at all, we can do all of that. Okay, thanks, Fu. So now, um, to kind of make this a little bit more of a general question in the real world. So, you know, is this a, an option for our customers? Is this a must have? You know, why is this uh, important resin purification? You know, why is this important in the bioprocessing, I guess, process for our customers? Anson, for now and near future, mm -hmm. purification is a must have. Um, I don't think is is a, a choice. Okay, it is a must have. Okay, uh, because of the thing is, I most of biological sample produced using cell based technologies, okay. and you can see that in cell based technologies, of course, cells have to produce their own materials, and these could potentially you know, create a lot of impurities. And with the impurities, it will affect the drug uh, efficacy. And a, a lot of allergic reaction could happen. For that reason, to increase product or drug quality, purification is a must have for now. Unless, you know, that the next, you know, I don't know, 10, 20 years, if any other new technologies out there to produce, you know, like biological sample more effectively, but for now, is a must-have step. Okay. Now that we know how important purification is in bioprocessing, how important is it to have you know a trusted vendor when it comes to chromatography resin? Yes, it is very important factor that when you select the vendors that you know you want to work with, right? Uh, because the number one thing that you don't want a vendors that did not have or don't have or doesn't have the ability or the capacity to support what you need. Okay. For example, at Toast of Bioscience, we have three production plants right now. And the fourth production plant will come about in the end of 2025. Okay. So we will have a lot of capacity to support the needs of our customers because you don't want to select a vendors that eventually cannot have the product or can it deliver it? Okay. That super important. And you want to make sure that the vendors produce the product with the quality that, you know, you, you, uh, the consistency. For example, at Tosa Bioscience, everything produced is under ISO uh, protocol and we have our own, you know, specs 
to produce these resin. So we want to make sure that the first time you buy and the next time and the, 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 the next time you buy, the product's quality and the consistency are there and the performance of the material as well. And, and go back to the production capacity. Uh, to me, that the point of view that selecting a vendors that you want to make sure just like you have a security blanket, right? Besides the production capacity, you want to make sure that it have the ability to deliver as well. For example, a toast about science. Yes, it's great to have the warehouse in the region where your company is. Okay. But that is sometimes you want to make sure that the vendors like Toso have multiple warehouse around the globe. Just in case if anything happened to this region, you have other regions so the resin can come in and support the need. And logistically is that, you know, can deliver the product as promised as well. So, and, and, and of course, you know, as, as I mentioned earlier, compliance, compliance and compliance. We want to make sure that everything that we produce, that, you know, we, the, you know, the, 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 the manufacturers of drugs can trust and can implement in that process. You mentioned something earlier about our facilities and how important it is that it's ISO certified. For our more our maybe inexperienced listeners, can you explain why is that important? What is the ISO certification exactly and why is that important? Uh, yes, because like with the uh, ISO certification, you, you, you just cannot change your process, mm -hmm. okay? If any time that you change your process, you have to make sure that, you know, you notify your customers, okay? Whatever that you change, in the process of making it. Um, and when you change your process, you want to make sure that the product quality is still there. Okay. Because that important, but without notifying our customers and they can file, you know, the regulatory, you know, like accordingly. So that is one thing that it could be a major bottleneck for everybody. So I guess time to to wrap this uh, part of the conversation up, once a customer buys and implements their resin, what kind of logistical concerns and follow-up should they expect from Toso and, and things that they should consider themselves as well? I don't think that, you know, customers should worry when it comes to Toso Bioscience, okay? Because I, that is our responsibility. When we promise to deliver a time and date, we want to make sure that we do that because if not, you know, like I couldn't imagine if, you know, a company that want to do purification and it says at a time and then we cannot deliver, which is, you know, is, is a no, no, very, very costly mistake. Okay. So Tosa, we don't have that thing in mind. We want to make sure that whatever we promise, we logistically, we can deliver. Um, that, that's why, you know, we have the warehouse, you know, in Ohio, which is the Grove City. Okay. And we can support everywhere in the United States or South America for this region, particularly. And if, you know, like you have anything that in Europe, we have the warehouse in Belgium that, you know, can support even I doubt to China, for example, we have a warehouse in Shanghai, you can do that. Um, so, so yes, logistically, we want to make sure that we can deliver our products on time. Okay. So now let's move on to new products. Are there new products in the pipeline that you think our customers should be really excited about? I know we've just had some recent launches, but I'd love for you to, to go through that a little bit. Yes, at Tosa Bioscience, we always want to get, you know, evolved uh, and, and, and expanding because of the thing is that we understand the needs mm -hmm. and uh, the, 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 the requires, you know, at the, the requirements of customer about, you know, new product lines, because nowadays you can see that um, new molecules always, you know, like produce, okay? So we want to make sure that we catch up with that. And not only that, you know, we want to make sure that uh, we, we can predict, you know, uh, th th together with our, you know, 
uh, customer, we can predict what future is going to be so we can get evolved directly. Um, now, for example, uh, recently that we introduced, okay, two resins and the number one is called Toya Perfano FT750F. And this one is the, uh, hydrophobic interaction resin and it used as a flow through mode okay for the number one uh or primary use using of, of this resin and this resin you know one thing that we designed specifically for antibody okay uh purification um and and recently that we also introduced um the TSK gel Fano 3 PW and this resin specifically designed for oligonucleotide purification, particularly the oligonucleotides still have the DMT protected group still on the molecule. Okay. Now, um, the other thing that I want to point it out as well, very soon we will, uh, introduce our GMP quality pre-packed columns, large scale skill pack pre-packed columns, um, with the GMP quality, uh, because by doing this, you know, we cut back the, uh, column packing cost and we also, you know, make sure that customer have some, you know, material ready to go rather than, you know, have to pack their own columns and things like that. Absolutely. Yeah. So. Looking ahead, what innovations in this space do you foresee kind of coming down the next five, 10, you know, plus years, you know, especially how do you foresee us or Toso Biosciences be able to help in that space? You know what? Yes, because I when come to purific, uh, purification, we cannot just stop at the consumable standpoint, right? Which is, you know, resin production. Um, we have to think about the solutions for purification. That is our responsibility. Uh, for example, we introduce our, um, multi-columns purification system. It called the octave bio systems, oh, yeah. right? Because of the thing is that purification doesn't have to be one column at a time. You can do multiple columns because uh, it speed up the purification a lot faster okay um and not only you know we we stop there but of course you know like we want to make sure that we introduce new resins okay and we introduce pre-packed columns uh for example as i just pointed out to you earlier with the tsk gel fennel 3pw resin we produce that specifically for oligonucleotide purification right and this resin not only you know like the number one thing that i like it a lot we eliminate the potential of using uh organic solvent Okay, which is, you know, like very, very costly. And most of the time for years, if people want to do that, they have to use reverse phase. Now they don't have to do, you know, like reverse phase. They can do, uh, large scale purification, more effective. And it did not get involved a lot of organic solvent or no organic solvent at all. Okay. Uh, binding capacity, which is, you know, fantastic. They don't have to do, you know, so much, uh, or, or so many cycles. So it can reduce cost effectively okay and since the particle so the, the particle size small so of course the purity uh or you know like the amount of work is going to be limited uh for the customer because the thing is uh, the product quality is it, just great right there okay and um more than anything that you know yes as i just pointed out to you uh that you know with our you know pre-packed columns as well it will eliminate the um troublesome or the cost that customer have to get involved in pack their own columns and things like that make it very convenient so it sounds like we do have a lot of things to offer yes, in, this yes. in the future. So I know I'm personally very excited. So I want to thank you for for going over those things with our audience today. I, I think they'll be uh, very informative for a lot of people who may not be currently aware of, of kind of the things that we have that we're working on and, and that will come out in the, in the near future. So thank you, Fu. Uh, thanks once again for joining us here on Chromatography Experts. I know, you know, 
it's always a great time getting together with you personally to, to, to talk about these things. And um, for more information, uh, as you kind of mentioned, uh, please reach out if, you, if you're interested, if you're a customer, if you please reach out to one of our territory managers globally, um, regardless of, in the area that you live in to find out more about our resins, or if you're, you know, more of a student or just want to learn more about chromatography, please feel free to reach out to all of us. We're all active on LinkedIn and, and, and we can help you out, you know, as, as best we can. Uh, so thanks for joining us for another episode. And until next time, guys. Bye.